So once you've created a box, there are ways you can manipulate a box. Uh, you can select a line or an edge of a box and you can move it. So I'm going to hit M for move. And you can snap to one of those points. And you can move it either in uh, either of your axes uh, in the Y, or you can move it in the X. You move it, uh, let's see, this direction in the X, I think. Maybe not. And it's the thing about SketchUp is it's going to it's going to constrain to its geometric properties. So the nice thing about it is it can't turn into a shape that it can't create. So, and that's, that's why it's a great tool for designing. If you're trying to build a house or uh, a building, it's not going to let you create a shape that's physically not possible to build. So it, you can scale it in this, in this y direction. You can also move it in the z direction. So we move it up in the z direction. So let's see if we can, so we can click there. And you see it's moving in the z direction. Now, you can also move uh, a point. So if I select the Move tool, uh, I can select a point. And someone once told me, well, I, I'm used to working with vertices. You know, I, I work in Maya. I work in 3ds Max. In SketchUp, I can't select a point and move it. I just want to move a point. You can do that. You can uh, select a point uh, just with the Move tool, and it's going to snap to that point, and it's going to move it. And you'll notice it's also going to change the geometry of that object. Now, I think this is new to SketchUp 8, whereas in, in 7, it kind of destroyed the integrity of the geometry. In 8, it's actually going to figure out, OK, this is the shape that I need to be for this point to move there. So it's, so it's actually pretty cool uh, for designing. Uh, so that's that. You'll also notice that if I select the Eraser tool or hit E, uh, and you select a line, you can erase it. So, and it's also going to erase uh, whatever face is connecting it. So if I select this line and erase it, it's going to delete that face, and it's going to keep the line that was there. So, uh, so it's it's going to destroy whatever faces are connecting that line. So you can reconnect those lines. So I can just use my line tool. And uh, you can click here, and it's going to create that face. And the thing about geometry, uh, if you have a triangle, a triangle is always planar. And so it doesn't matter where those three points are. If you're creating a triangle, it's always going to create a plane. If you have a, uh, a square, then, then it's a little trickier. You have to have all four points in that same plane. And there's always that possibility that that one point will not be planar. But if you're trying to get a face that's going to work and you can't get it to work, a triangle is always, uh, always planar. So that's, that's one kind of trick to creating uh, organic geometry. There's also a nice tool for smoothing. If you have uh, an object and you want to, uh, to make a face look smooth, you can hit your eraser tool. And if you hold Control down and take this edge right here and just as if you're deleting it, it's not actually going to delete it. What it's actually doing is it's smoothing that edge, smoothing that normal. So that edge is still there. We just smoothed it. And what it's, what it's doing is it's taking the average of, of this plane's direction. Actually, let me, let me turn on. If you go to, to View and Hidden Geometry, you can kind of see it's still there. So it's taking the average of the direction of this geometry, this triangle, and this triangle. And it's smoothing out their directions to, to fake a smooth angle. And that's kind of a trick in 3D that, uh, that makes objects smooth. Uh, and you can see it's applied to this cylinder as well. There's no such thing as a smooth face. Everything is average, and so that's what that is. So we can turn hidden geometry off, and you can see that it's applied to smoothing groups. So, and if you want to unsmooth it, you can go back to View, Hidden Geometry. You select the Eraser tool and hold Control-Shift, and it'll bring that line back. And it'll take away that smoothing group.